Jones can box and he can punch. Eric Morales can box. I'm not sure, Roy, that he can punch at the same level with Jones. Well, he throws pretty good punches. He stopped, what's, he stopped um, the old guy that he took. The, Daniel Zaragoza. Yeah, he stopped Zaragoza with body shots, so he showed that he could punch. But this is the only the second time that he's been in a big fight like this. Junior's been in these several times. of crowd noise you hear, the chants, the cheers, the spontaneous eruptions will all be for El Terrible Eric Morales. Neither man has landed much of anything in the first 50 seconds of the fight. Morales sneaking in a right hand lead. Morales was surprisingly aggressive in the opening moments of the fight until Jones landed that punch. Larry, you made an interesting point yesterday after we met with Morales. You said that he looks to you like a fighter who struggles to make weight. Elaborate. Well, he's so gaunt. Uh, but on the other hand, when you're 22 years old, you can get away with with such things as making weight. As you get older, it's harder. But he's, he's, it looks like he has as much body fat as a as a nail. <laughs> <laughs> Jones is the one who actually gained the most weight, though. That's true. So it wasn't too easy for him either. Junior missing with the right hand. Left hand lands for Morales. Left hand to the body by Jones Jr. trying to establish his jab. Morales staying at a distance and making Jr. stretch that jab out early on. But Junior can't wait for Morales because Junior is not the waiting type fighter. The guy who pushed the issue is going to have the advantage here. When Morales sets up Roy Jones, look at where he holds his left hand. Has Junior got an opening for a right hand here? No, it's not quite low enough for that, but what Junior is doing is Junior is countering Morales' straight right hand with his own straight right. He's caught Morales twice with that punch. Both times it may have stunned Morales a little bit. Morales showed in the first minute and a half disappears after the counter right hands and it was a cautious final minute of round number one again our interpreter in Morales' corner will be Ray Torres Okay, you got it. Go to his right. Move around. Make sure you walk to the right so you get away from his right. But that, you, you gotta faint him. You, you gotta attack him. Don't risk him. Oh, keep, put your head down. You're starting to put it up in the air. Okay. All right? Your head's high. Don't, don't, don't relax on us now. Okay, just follow, just follow the marbles, baby. All right? Straight back. 22 punches connected for Morales by CompuBox numbers in round number one. 15 of them were jabs. Jones landed more power shots, likely because of that counter right hand that Roy Jones described to you. You have Roy Jones Jr. doing commentary on Ivy Jr. Jones. So stick with us. We had two bulls in the first fight, two bull fighters in the second fight. One of these fights will get it right. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I think is bad here is that I don't think this is the pace that Eric Morales really wants to fight Junior at. Junior has the most experience, and I think this is his pace of fighting. 
Good right hand that Morales took. Morales known as a slower starter. He came on in the late rounds in his biggest win against Zaragoza. Now Morales goes back to attacking and lands a right uppercut as he forces Jones back against the ropes. I told you whoever pushed the issue here is going to have the advantage. Well, what Morales wants to do is to try to test Jones's endurance which he has had a problem with from time to time in the past by pressing him early. I think Jones caught referee Larry O'Connell in the midsection as <laughs> O'Connell was trying to break him up and O'Connell took the punch pretty well. <laughs> just missed with the right hand. Jones tapped him with the counter left. Junior started to pull the trigger on the right. Now he fires it. Kind of looks like both men think they can counter Roy. And they're waiting for each other to attack. They are. That's why I said whoever takes the lead has the advantage in this fight. Now Eric has a mouse under his right eye, under his left eye, under his left eye. Yeah. And there's another right hand for Jones, right under the left eye of Eric Morales. That mouse is turning red. It's not flowing with blood yet, but it may open up. A slippage, and once again, that's the slippery corner. That's the one where you saw Rio slip several times in the first fight. in Tijuana get their money's worth. Junior featherweight division, Larry. Yeah, Bungo is unknown here. He may fight here later in the fall. He's had more title defenses than anybody else with his belt. There's Morales and Jones, Kennedy McKinney, Barrera, who is on his comeback trail, and Wayne McCullough, who is going to be fighting Prince Hamed at the end of October. And we told you, every fighter in the 126-pound weight class with any identity whatsoever is looking for the fight against Prince Nassim. Likewise, all the 122-pound fighters. Listen, you're squaring up a little bit too much. Okay, yeah. Show him that jab. When you get on the inside, put that foot there and start letting them up because go. Okay? All right, baby. Oh. Oh, well, the ref has a good stomach. Oh, he worked a little bit with that blow. <laughs> According to CompuBox numbers through round two, Eric Morales far more accurate with the jab, landing 26 out of 46, 57 percent. Junior Jones only 12 of 77. Yet Harold Letterman scores the first two rounds for Jones. Interpreter Ray Torres telling us that between rounds, Eric Morales' father, Jose, manager and trainer in his corner, asked Eric to get closer to Junior Jones, not fight from so far outside. Yes, because he has to push the issue. You can't stand out there and let Junior have his weight. He has the experience already, and if you let him fight his fight, you're not going to beat him like that. And Junior got a chance in there to bust Morales with another counter right hand and landed it right on the cheekbone, which is swelling under Morales' left eye. Yeah, but Eric came out with some good combinations of his own just now. Morales has delivered some punishment in the first three rounds. He's taking some in return. Oh, break! Stand back! 
Eric is moving around to his right, moving away from Junior's power punch, which is Junior's right hand. That's why Junior's not throwing it as much this round. Set it up with the left. Oh, hard right to the body by Jones. A beautiful body shot. Morales folded into the ropes by that right hand shot right in the middle of the belt. I think he may be trying to let Junior punch himself out a little bit, though. Right! Stand back, stand back! I'm under the, a similar impression, though. That he feels he's a little stronger and in better condition. Reminiscent of what Kennedy McKinney was able to do against Junior Jones in New York when he weathered the Jones storm and then knocked out a weakened Junior who, he, who admitted himself afterward that he was punched out. Yeah, let go, let go, let go, let go. Connell warning Jones for holding Morales' right arm. Junior was working the body with the right hand, and now he's got a trickle of blood coming from Morales' nose. Against McKinney, he, he dropped McKinney early in the fight and got reckless here. He's under much greater control. Okay, well, when, he, when you hurt him again, you got to finish him. If you, if you see him hurt, you got to go after him. You, you, he was all, he was all balanced all most of the time. You had him going, and you got to get to him. Stay close to him. Show your pressure him. All right, yeah, one, two, three. Either here or over the top, all right? Here we go, drink this one. All right, let's go. Jones said you have to, he's learned you have to earn a knockout. He's trying to earn it by fighting a more disciplined fight. But he's in there with a young, strong, well-conditioned, and, and very well-schooled fighter. And in round three, Morales was the more accurate punter, landing 24 of 53, according to Copy Box numbers. Jones, 14 of 54. That's a head, son. Box up. Junior's jab is the best thing for working oh. for him right now. Good left hook inside by Jones. He landed a right cross flush and a left hook flush. Morales has certainly shown that he can take a punch in these first few rounds. Yeah, and Morales has very good ring posture here. He's keeping up good with Junior. He's not getting too close and he's not staying too far back. Yeah, he, he seems to be in better balance. This is a kid. Roy, who was raised in a home that had a gym. His father had been a fighter. He's been fighting since he's five. He has beautiful balance. The other thing that helps him is he doesn't overcommit to his punches. That's one of the things that Vander Holyfield is trying to get Junior Jones to respond to. Holyfield telling Jones, if you don't overcommit to your jab, you'll be in a better position to knock a man out with the right hand. Watch your hands. Fight! Stand back, stand back, stand back. Come on, Come on, Hit your heads up. Fight for it. Jones keeps telling Holyfield he's going to break out a 10-pound can of kick-ass on him. <laughs> Both men having their moments in round number four. And we're getting more action and more contact with each succeeding round. And he has a bad cut, Jim. And he's also very tired. Same round in which Kennedy McKinney was able to finish Jones. Junior Jones' career on the line. 20 seconds left in round four. Jones just trying to hold on.
it was a reasonable stoppage, even though the round was almost over, because Junior was cut, hurt, and wobbling. Wobbling and very tired. Tremendous performance by 22-year-old Eric Morales as he fulfills his promise in front of the hometown crowd. Very good right hand. He held his composition very good. I think that was the advantage for him later in the fight. He just held his composure throughout. He held his composure, waited for Junior to tire and start making mistakes. Junior started making mistakes with his balance, so leaving himself open after the big punches, and that's how Eric caught him. And if the rumor Larry heard was true, somewhere there's a guy who just lost a hundred thousand dollar bet on Junior Jones. What a world of possibilities this opens up for young Eric Morales. Yeah. Let's take a look at the knockdown. This is not the stoppage that ended the fight, but rather the knockdown that set it up. Clean right hand that hurt Junior badly. He's trying to hold on. Another right hand on top of the head just sort of pushed him over. That was the punch that really did the damage. One of those right hands, in addition to helping facilitate the knockout, opened a big cut over Junior's left eye. Yeah, I think it was the one that he caught him with in the beginning. He caught Junior trying to throw a right uppercut from the outside, which was very dangerous. Good performance by Eric, Eric Morales, uh, Morales. Now let's look at the stoppage. And by our clock, this would have been, I believe, within the last five seconds of the round. Right there, he got caught with another big punch, Jim. The referee thought he was through, I thought he was through, and I think it was a good stoppage. He was trying to fight back, but he was hurt, and you know, those kind you have to respect. I think O'Connell did a very professional job throughout, including taking the body shot from Junior Jones uh, <laughs> in the one break. And uh, I, I think you can indeed say that this was a professional stoppage. Yes, it was. It isn't the referee's job to follow the clock. It's the referee's job to protect fighters. That's right. That's his first job. All right, let's go to Danny Valdivia for the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by technical knockout in two minutes, 55 seconds of the fourth round. And still the WBC Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, the Juan Nazón, Eric Terrible Morales. En dos minutos 55 segundos del cuarto asalto, Eric Terrible Morales. Final punch stat numbers. And you can see that Morales landed 36 more punches than Jones, threw almost as many, was connecting at a much higher percentage. One reason why, he was considerably more effective with the jab. By choosing to be the aggressor, Eric Morales made his jab effective and backed Junior Jones up, Roy. Yeah, that's the worst fight for Junior Jones to be able to fight, is backing up. He's a power puncher, he does not fight good on his heels, he does not fight good backing up. So Eric Morales came in with a perfect strategy and it worked for him. And Larry Merchant stands by in the ring right now. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jim. Congratulations, Eric. It seemed as if you felt that you were stronger and in better condition than him. Parece que tú sentías que tú eras más fuerte y en mejor condición que él. Sí, desde luego yo venía muy bien preparado esta pelea. Hice un gran trabajo. Yo creo que trabajo de mucho tiempo, mucho tiempo entrenar en el centro ceremonial con mí. Yeah, absolutely. I, I I had a great training. I've been training in the in, in the mountains, and I I felt with my preparation I would be stronger than him. 
you were un it seemed to us that you were more aggressive than we have seen you in some fights why nos parece que tú eras más agresivo más que en lo que te hemos visto en otra pelea por qué porque estamos en Tijuana vean tiene más de quién sabe cuántos años que, la, que el toreo no se llena y además pues era mi oportunidad de demostrar que soy un campeón de verdad I was more aggressive because we're in Tijuana. It's been many years since this place was used for a boxing match. I'm home and I wanted to do that. Did this event, you're taking a dangerous opponent like Jones, fighting at home and getting this recognition, live up to everything you had hoped for? Tomando esta pelea que fue muy peligrosa con un oponente como Jones, es lo que tú esperabas y el resultado es todo lo que tú anhelabas. Lógico que sí. Of course. Pude, salí un poco golpeado, pero pues es caso del oficio, ¿no? Me entregué hacia adentro, todo el tiempo fui por el rival y pues... Yeah, I gambled, I took a chance, I came out a little beat up and, and around the eyes, but uh, everything came out just the way we expected it to do. Thank to you very much. Muchas gracias. So, as we said earlier... Oh, excuse me, Jim. We have Junior Jones now. All right, Junior Jones, you said you were ready for this fight. You came out under control. You didn't lose your composure. And yet Eric Morales just seemed to be stronger and quicker than you were. Oh, man. I guess, like I said, he raised his level a little bit. You know, like I said, I mean, you know, things happen. And um, and then, like I said, but he just, you know, fought a, you know, good fight. I made a mistake, and he just capitalized off that mistake. Is he as good a fighter as you have ever fought before? No, no. No, he's about, he's about you know, average fighter that I fought before. Not, not as good. Um, if he's not as good, then why did he... Where are you if he was still able to beat you? I mean, it's, that's, I mean things happen. It's not the point of saying he's that good. I mean, this is boxing. Uh, like any good fighter, you make a mistake, and... and you know, and you get caught, you know, that's that's the whole thing. And like I said, I man, it's, 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 no, it's no big deal. He's, he's, he's a good fighter. I never said he wasn't a good fighter. Will you continue to fight? Um, I, got, I don't know right now. I mean, right now, let, let me get to this. But right now, my head is still on fighting, so I'm not, I'm not discouraged or anything like that. You know, we just got to see what's, you know, what's over the horizon and I guess take from there. Thank you very much, okay. Junior. So, Jim, as we said earlier, a pension attention must be paid when a young fighter who has everything to lose takes such a fight in his hometown and is ready for it and has made an announcement to the world he did win the ears and the eyes and our tail in this bullring tonight Jim all right, thank you, Larry and Roy. Let's go directly to the main subject in the 122 and 126 pound weight classes, which is who gets a shot at some of that Prince Nassim money. Now, the Prince has a fight coming up against Wayne McCullough, another 122 pounder coming up on October 31, and there's never any guarantee that he gets past it. But assuming that the Prince stays alive against McCullough and is still out there, Junior had seen this fight as a stepping stone to Prince Nassim. He's got major business problems now. But Larry talked about Morales's balance and and technique and those things would stand him in very good stead against Nassim's style wouldn't they? They would be very good for him because Nassim fights that unorthodox type of fight he never keeps good balance he never has good posture but he gets the job done Eric Morales is a perfect perfect regular uh, strategic wise fighter he keeps a trained fighter balance. yeah he keeps perfect balance he has good punching power not the best but it's good so th those are the type of fighters that you want to see excel and see how they do against the guys with the great punching power but not so good posture or not so good footwork again uh, you know no guarantee that the prince can get past wayne mccullough of ireland but if he does i'd love to see morales <laughs> against prince nassim i would too but of course you know i think my man my man is first in line Derek smoke gainer